Hi, this is MCZ and now I'm going to talk about some new interactions between uh, RF tools and XNet. So, this setup here is just a normal storage scanner, like was always uh, has always worked for a while. So this is connected to several inventories which contain the items, so if you double click on one it will be highlighted. And this one, for example, has a filter to only contain ores, so I, you cannot put anything else in here, but you can put ores in it, like this. The others have no filters, so they are just general purpose. Also, but using that filter, if I put something in, it will go to the ore chest, but if I put this in, it will go, go to the next chest. These are also connected, so this is just basic behavior like it used to be. You can also insert things like this, uh, that was extract, insert all, and you can interact with the screen. So what has changed? There's now a new way to do things using XNet. So this is basically the same setup as this one, except that now XNet is used to connect the inventories to the scanner, and this is done using a new channel, this is XNet controller. Uh, it's a, a channel of type, you can see it here, rftools.storage. And basically what you say is this is a storage scanner, you indicate that as storage, and for the others I just made an input extract a note for the chests and uh, the modular storages. One of the advantages, so what you do then, is you to get all those inventories, you set this to XNet and you scan, and you get these, and you already see there are no other blocks here. So this one and this one is not in the list. And here it is. Of course you can remove these, but that's a manual process which is a bit annoying. This is one of the advantages of using XNet for this. Also, this is again for ores, but there is no filter in this one. Instead, the filtering happens here in XNet itself. So that also means, so if I insert, for example, this one, it will go to this and not to this one. This is going to only accept ores. So ores will go here. This works the same, same principle and they will go here. One of the differences, of course, is that I can insert non ores here because there's no filter here. So if I bypass the storage scanner, I can insert things here. So that's a difference. So you can, <coughs> sorry, you can still use filters if you want, but uh, you can also do it with XNet. So one of the advantages of using XNet for that is that you can also do filters on, for example, this one. Yeah, so you can easily say this chest it should also be filtered according to certain criteria. Let me first also resize these screens so they are a bit bigger. It's easier to use that way. Okay. And this one too. Okay, another thing you can do now, um, which is similar, you can now easily, this is another more complicated setup, and one thing you notice is, so I can insert stuff here, that's fine. I can exact these. It's, you see it's the same numbers, it's actually the same. I can insert here too, but I cannot get anything out of here. Also this storage scanner, I cannot get anything out of this at that as well. It's read only, while this one I can fetch and insert stuff. And this is done also with XNet. So the left storage scanner, it just it has input extract nodes, and the right storage scanner only input. So that means output is blocked for user interface, for automation, and for the screen. So you can control for which part you want to block the output. In addition, this example also shows that you can, for example, uh, directly interface so this is a storage type channel, but you can also make a new normal item channel. And this is a storage scanner. I say insert here, 
an extract from this chest and that chest is this one so if I put something here it will automatically go into the storage scanner in addition you can also oh that's the wrong one here extract for example all gold ore I extract from the storage scanner so it will come from any of these in inventories and insert it in the other chest so if I have some gold ore here let me fetch them put it in this chest it is automatically extracted and then put here all by xnet this new technique of using xnet for the storage scanner is optional but there is also a config option to make it required if you so like so this is basically what i wanted to, to talk about so that's it for this time see you next time bye bye